What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie to nine eight eight coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. Uh, this is my vlogging series, one of my vlogging videos, one of my rambling videos, as I like to call them, which I talk about myself, the life, the universe, and everything around us. Um, what's going on in the world that's important to me, um, and important to me and my family, important to you, and that kind of thing. And I guess I should start off with the obvious. I am wearing uh, one of my t-shirts, which are now available at uh, Spreadshirt, and I'll list a link down here below. Um, this has been a bit of a work. Uh, my friend Sudvict has helped me out. Uh, some of the artists who've created fan art over the years have helped me out. Uh, I commissioned some art to get a lot of different products. Uh, the shirts go all the way up to 5X, I believe. Um, this is actually a 6X, which I believe they have commissioned specifically for me. It's a UP and a UK store. And whether you ever visit that store or not, know that I absolutely love you. There's no pressure. A lot of people had asked me in the past uh, to develop so that kind of thing, so that's what we've done. Um, it's been a fun and, but ongoing process. Uh, the guys at Spreadshirt made it pretty, super easy. Um, and they fielded me. And they're like, look, this is what we can do for you. This is what we'll do. And the profit margin is super low, uh, but who cares? I mean, it's not about money. It's about the fact that uh, it's super cool to have your images or your pictures or uh, the, the catchphrases you've created or that kind of thing on a t-shirt and actually see people wear them. And if you ever do buy any, or if you have already have, I would love it if you posted pictures, uh, tweeted them to me, twitter.com slash boogie to nine eight eight. Um, speaking of which, I hit 100,000 Twitter followers this last week, which is pretty surprising because I uh, tweet a lot, maybe like 25 to 50 tweets a day. Um, I'm just chatty as shit. I don't know why. I don't normally like texting or anything else, but Twitter just is a is a place that I, I really get out there. I get a little political sometimes. I get a little offensive. The jokes I make are not always um, nice, um, but it's it's a more uh, more real to life version of me. I mean, people will take things wrong as they are, are apt to do anytime you're using text, but for the most part, uh, that stuff that I tweet there is, is a lot of fun. Um, I have pissed off a lot of people, and that's why I'm surprised we hit 100,000 subscribers. Between that and 165,000 uh, followers on Facebook now, and now uh, 50 some thousand on Twitch, um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, I'm always worried about what's going to happen if YouTube um, is no longer a viable option because you know something happens to the website or something to that effect. And so that's why I'm trying to build up all this other social media. That way you and I always have a way to uh, directly communicate um, one way or the other. Sometimes I'll see your tweets and sometimes I'll see your face Facebook posts. Sometimes I'll hear from you and sometimes I'll be able to respond. Um, of course, I do less and less of that every day as more and more people join uh, the, the fray, but I do what I can. Um, I did shave today and uh, certainly I don't think I look that great. Um, my wife likes it, so I guess that's a win. I think I look fatter than hell with this particular beard cut. Um, my weight has been really weird lately. I've noticed that my um, my uh, wedding ring is starting to fall off of me on a pretty regular basis once or twice a day. Um, I think that my body is shrinking, though my scale is stay, staying the same. This makes a lot of sense, I guess, because of the testosterone that I'm doing and, and the, the food that I'm eating right, right just before filming here. I sat down to start to open up an orange, but I got a piece of, I got a stain on my shirt, so I realized I probably shouldn't eat this while I'm wearing the shirt. Um, but I've, I've been trying to eat a lot of fresh fruit and a lot of fresh vegetables, eating one meal a day, trying to target 2,500 calories, uh, drink a lot of water, cut out the soda, Though I did get a case of that Baja Blast because yum, and uh, it lasted me a week and a half, so I'm pretty proud about that. But I think these changes are having a noticeable effect. I feel better, and I think I, I'm, I'm, my body is definitely changing in some ways, um, but the scale isn't moving. But it's, it's not always about scale. I see the doctor on Friday, and hopefully on Friday he's going to give me a good idea of where we're at and what we're doing, and uh, then I can report back to you then. Um, gaming is uh, pretty hectic this year. A lot of great games getting played. Uh, I just, I just, I've been making more gaming uh, videos. I've been uh, playing more games and doing uh, more gameplay videos. I've been talking about a lot of games, and that's because we're in the middle of the season of it. And I know a lot of you who follow me don't follow me because of the games, and you're not particularly interested in them, and I understand that. Um, but it is something that I am very fascinated with, something that I think a lot of my viewers are fascinated with. So I hope you can put up with it as we approach E3 and all this news starts creeping out during E3 season. It's all it's going to be almost all gaming for a good chunk of, of June. Though I promise I'll try to fit in videos like this for those of you who don't care for that stuff. 
Um, it's kind of interesting because as I put my opinions, and that's all they are is opinions, but as I put my opinions out there more and more to the gamers, um, some agree and some disagree, some get mad, uh, some get uh, just vindictive, some get vicious, some don't really care, and it's interesting. Um, the gaming community can be one of the best communities in the world. It can also be a little bit toxic, um, and I'm wading into that toxicity a little bit, but it's nothing compared to the vitriol I get just from being overweight, of course. Uh, but I always seem to offend people. I always seem to upset them. I hate to do that. I really do. I like it. I like when people are happy. I want them to be happy. So I try I try to keep uh, certain opinions to myself. Uh, but as I found out when I did that about Nintendo, people get mad that I'm not covering Nintendo. If I say one console I like better than the other, the people get upset. And they don't believe me. It doesn't matter. It's so It's so complicated. So what I've decided is just like in all things in life, I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm just going to talk about what I want to talk about. I'm going to cover what I want to cover. And if people don't like it, they can just deal. Either they'll watch or they won't, and that's okay one way or the other. I want to make content that people enjoy. I want to make things that people enjoy. But at the end of the day, there's some people that it's just impossible to please. And I believe, uh, I forget who says it, but you can't please everybody at the same time, and you're only a fool if you try. Uh, you know... So that's, that's my goal now, it's, and it's been that way throughout the entirety of my life. I always knew what I was, and I always did things to, to try to focus on pleasing myself and the people that are very, very important to me. Um, and even then, sometimes they had to go to the side because I had to do what was right by myself, and that's what I always do with my YouTube channel. And so right now, I know that some people are disappointed at my opinions of games, and some people are disappointed at my upload schedule, and some people are disappointed with the content that I'm uploading, and I love you just the same. But I got to do it because it's it's right for me. Um, VidCon is coming up very, very soon. And I am going to VidCon this year. You guys may not know that if you're unfamiliar with what VidCon is. It's a big uh, convention over there in L.A. for the, for the YouTube industry and uh, that kind of thing, social media industry. And a lot of the other YouTubers are going to be there. A lot that I'm excited to meet. I'll be shaking hands and signing autographs for about four hours one day there. I think I will be doing a panel there. If they can find me a partner to go up there with, because I'm not so sure I'd be comfortable alone. Um, overall, uh, I think it's going to be a fun experience. My anxiety has really been triggering about it, though, and and I don't know. It's so scary, but I think I'm going to be. I think I'm going to be okay. Um, speaking of other great things that happen in June, my wife's birthday um, happens in June, and I know I will not tell you how old she is, and uh, we're making plans for that, but I can't tell you any of those. But uh, I want it to be a good one for her. Uh, of course, my birthday is coming up in July, July 24th. Can't believe it. Now, I am going to turn 40. A lot of people hear that. They don't believe it. I, I, I have a very young heart, and I have a very young face, mostly because it's so filled with fat you can't see the wrinkles. But if you were there when I was shaving my beard, pucking uh, gray beards out of my, my uh, gray beard hairs out of my face today, you would have known. It's crazy how time flies. It's crazy how... The world changes. It's crazy how how life just gets away from you. And uh, I got to tell you something. When you get to be middle aged, which is officially where I am, and for an old guy, I'm I'm pretty late up there. Uh, for a fat guy, I mean to say, as a fat guy, I'm definitely way up there. Um, when you get to be this age, you realize that every day is a gift, man. Every day is a gift, and every day is beautiful. And you got to do something nice with every single one of those days. You got to do something nice for yourself. You got to do something nice for somebody else. You got to put the work in that will make the rest of your life better. Every day that you put that work in, it's exponential because every day that follows it is going to be better and better and better and better and better. And um, that's life, man. It really, really is. And I'll be honest with you, and this is probably one of the most morbid things I'll ever say, and I know you guys don't necessarily want to hear it, but I did not think I would make 40. You know, when I was a kid and I was 25, they told me, you know, with your uh, your, diff, your eating disorder and the, and the way you treat your body, you'll be lucky to, to make it to 30. And I didn't care. I wanted to be dead. So I, okay, fine. I'll, good. I'll be dead by 30. I'll go hit the buffets and see if we can speed up the process. And I got to be 30. They told me I wouldn't live to be 35, and I still didn't care. I just wanted to push through. I just wanted to push, whatever, I'm going to die one day anyway. May as well hit McDonald's on the way home. And then I turned 35, and uh, the, all this stuff started changing. YouTube changed, and I, I met my wife, and, and this, this career, and, 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 and being able to work with you guys every day, it changed the world. <laughs> you know, it made it all, uh, made it all worth living. Um, and I made it to 40. 
And um, I'm now shooting for 45 and 50 and 55 and 60. Maybe if we can get some of this weight off of me and we can get it all figured out, maybe we can look at a surgery this year. But every day is a blessing. That's as simple as that. Every day is a blessing. It's a miracle that I've had 40 years worth of days almost. It's a miracle that you've had uh, 20 years or 30 years or 10 years or however many years you have. It's a miracle every day that you wake up and you get to walk around this world. And no, I'm not talking about the um, necessarily the uh, God intervening miracle, but just uh, miraculous, just amazing, just phenomenal that, that it happens. And I hope that you guys remember that. I hope you take advantage of every single day. I hope you take advantage of today. Memorial Day weekend's coming up if you're in the United States. Have a great weekend with your friends and your family. Enjoy yourself. Uh, we plan to. And, uh, well, I think that's going to be it since we just took a trip down memory lane. Uh, let's talk about memories for just a minute, if we can. Uh, if you use the word memory in uh, your comment section below, uh, leave a comment that uses the word memory. I'll know you made it all the way to the end of this uh, almost 11-minute video. And I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. And I love you guys. We're making good memories here. Tell me about a good memory about uh, YouTube, about uh, my interaction with you, or, or just something good that ever happened in your life. Tell me what one of your favorite memories is, and I'll talk with you soon. Love you.